on the flat cap whiskey today springbank 10 campbelltown single malt scotch whiskey coming at you that's how you intro a tasting We got to say, give us a pour, man. So here, Springbank 10-year-old. It's a 10-year-old that offers whiskey drinkers the perfect introduction to the Springbank range. Matured in combination of bourbon and sherry oak casks, it is perfectly balanced from the first sip to the full, rich finish. Let me get the little pop, because last time in the art bag, I didn't get it because the mic didn't work. Low pop. Low pop. Low pop. Because they're neck pour. So mind you, this is the first opening of a, of a whiskey or a scotch. I think we're going to make these like the initial nosing, palate, tasting notes. And later down the line, come back with the full full thing later down. Oop, got another one. Another one. Just a little bit. All right, Springbank Ten. So, have you you've had Springbank? We've tasted this before, right? No, no that was the I've, that was the twelve year old. We I've tasted. never had a ten. I had a twelve year old. We had the twelve year old, right? The cast strength, which I bought a while ago. Yes. What did you think of the Springbank Twelve? I, I haven't now had it once. Oh, what did you think of it? Do you have it any... was good. I don't remember fully. I don't remember it really, because. I, don't know, I thought the, the Springbank 12 was good. I've had Springbank 15, which I think is one of my favorites. Um, Long Row 18 is another Springbank distillery. Scotch. Hazelburn, of course. Which Hazelburn is the one I know the most. So we've had all three of those Springbank brands. Springbank, Hazelburn, Long Row. Long Row I thought was one of my favorites. Uh, Long Row 18. I should go ahead and say that this is a 2019 bottling. Just want to point that out. All right. Because I saw the, the date on the bottle. Also, this is matured in uh, a combination of bourbon and sherry casks. It's 46% alcohol. It's Campbelltown. Right? I think we should do the nose. Let's do the nose. Let's get right to it. Ooh, fruit right off the bat. No alcohol, like... Smell. That's I got what it says. Orchard fruit, pear, with a hint of peat, vanilla, and malt. See, I, was gonna I, say, I get like a, like a candy, like a fresh, hard candy fruit. That's what she said. <laughs> that smells really I'm gonna good. I'm going to say it's fruity. It's very fruity. It is malty. I don't know if I can tell it's pear. I mean, I, I'm not... I haven't had a pear in a pear in a while. Last time I had pears when somebody sent me some Harry and Davids, which must have been a decade ago. Nobody likes me. It has that spring bank no, that, that that spring bank twine, smell. Twing, yeah. twine or twang. Whoa, you can't go into the palette yet, man. I'm saying it. Man, he goes too quickly sometimes. Ah, for sure. That's what I'm laughing at. That's different. It is. It is spicy. I don't think it has. It is spicy. I don't think it has the depth of the Springbank Twelve. Multi. That is good though. Do I get vanilla? No, vanilla is one of them. So the palette should have malt, oak, spice, nutmeg and cinnamon, vanilla essence. The finish should be sweet with a lingering salty tingle. And I would say the salty tingle. Uh, salty there. tingles there. That's still sweet on the finish. Adding more to that spring bank typical Does it open aroma comes out. I get that in the in the in the even before adding the water. I know, it becomes more pronounced.
spiciness definitely. Oh, you're the right. The salt, the salt, big time. The salt on the end is huge too. It's glass. I don't want to break this. And a bit more water in there. Okay, there we go. As we're going through this, I want to say thank you to John Oliver for the shout out. All right, John. God, he did, did it again. John Andre, John Andre at Just Whiskey. Oh, he God. always says John Oliver. It's like, you know, it's not John Oliver. John Oliver is like a liberal comedian who thinks he's a commentator on politics, but he's stupid. John Andre is an intelligent person who loves scotch and whiskey, and he's Just Whiskey, and he knows whiskey very fine. I do get the baking, like a baking, or like the... It's a nutmeg. I mean, it's the nutmeg and the cinnamon is what I'm getting. I'm just getting that. Bacon. Well, I think that cinnamon is the spice. You know, I, I can't. Cinnamon's tell. not spicy though. It's considered a spice. We need to like Google cinnamon. <laughs> <laughs> what is cinnamon? Cinnamon's a spice. Yeah, I understand. I do get the get the alcohol in that. It's kind of still pronounced the alcohol vapor. Get a little bit of. I just love that Springbank base flavor aroma. It's just so good. There's no peat in this. See, Springbank is very refreshing. There's no peat in this, right? Yeah, it's slightly peated, I believe. Hey, look, hint of peat. Hint of peat. So it is a, yeah, that's what I'm getting. You get that little, like a very low rubber. Not like. Not like Lafayette. Maybe, maybe tar? No. No tar. I get the sweetness of the, I get that there's a heavy sherry. Not heavy. Oh, maybe. No, I can taste the sherry. It's more like a, like a, like a hay, like a grassy, like wet grass or something. Get any chocolate? Do I get any chocolate? Mm -hmm. Just wondering. I do not get any chocolate. Get any milk this time? Huh. No. <laughs> um, buttery biscuit? No buttery biscuit. This it's fruity though. It's got fruity. It's got a bit of a. I don't know. It's got like that weird. It's got a weirdness to it. I don't know how to s describe it. There's some weird smell to it that's always prominent in these. I that's, think that's the malt. It's possible. Oop, malt did that, did that over. We, we need to spice this video up a bit here. We're kind of dry today. What, are we kind of like... We're very dry today. We haven't made a video in a few weeks since the Stanley Cup. Islanders tamp around. He hates when I talk hockey. Last time, that last video, he actually took the camera off of me. And I was talking hockey. But Stanley Cup ended in June. It's now late, middle of August, late August. That smells really good. Mm -hmm. So it's been it's been uh, about a month since we made a video, maybe more. It's pretty good. I thought the last video was kind of funny. He cut out two of my jokes. He's always cutting out my jokes. He thinks that they're gonna get us in trouble on YouTube, which I don't think they would. Possibly. Possibly is not will. Yeah, there's like it's a kick humor. to this. When you say a kick, what do you mean? Alcohol kick? Because I don't think the alcohol is that prominent. But you said you did. No, in the beginning it was fine, but now I'm getting like, I'm just, that's, just, that's all I'm getting now. I'm just getting the alcohol in my mouth. I'm getting some vanilla. Get any buttery biscuit? Raisins? At Hazelburn, I've gotten raisins before. Maybe some fresh cut grass. That's 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 what I'm getting. Like in the like in the finish, it's like it's still sweet. It's still very salty. But yeah, grassy. I would almost say it. Very big. I mean, yeah, th I, I, it's a great quality spring. You can never go wrong getting a spring bank. No. I find this spring bank to be very refreshing, actually. It's pretty good.
It's very good. I probably I think I'd give it. Are we going into my malt marks? I just want the malt marks. Which malt mark are you using? Uh, the typical one out of I 100. use my malt mark. My, my, my malt mark. So my malt mark, which is 8.5. 8.5? So you're saying 85. <laughs> That's what you're saying. 8.5. So an 85 out of 100. No. 85. Eight and a half out of 10. I, I, I would say an 85. Or a 8.5. My, my mall mark. Yeah, I agree with that. I think this, I think, again, I think just like, I can't remember what we did. The bottle, I think needs to oxidize a little bit. Mature a little bit more. A little oxygen going on. Hold on, let me do the old. So here's what it says on the back of the bottle. Springbank Single Malt Whiskey is a free of artificial coloring. Also, it is not chill filtered, which is great. This will cause a slight normal haze to form when it's cold, but this will disappear when the temperature returns to normal. So here's what I want to do this year. I think as the temperature starts to drop, we need to go out on the deck, turn on the heat lamp, and do some cold weather. Cold weather whiskey. Cold weather whiskey reviews on scotch, and then when the snow is on the ground, let's see if it hazes up without adding water. Hmm. Actually, I've seen it. I, the bottle, when I got the bottle, it was hazy. Yeah, we'll have to shovel the deck. Yeah, I would say 80, 85. 85? I'm going to say 8.5. That's my malt mark. Listen, thanks for tuning in. Like, subscribe, give us some comments. Today was kind of a boring one. I apologize. I'm not feeling as funny as I normally do because I know he's going to cut it all out anyway. But it, the last comment I'm going to make, Tampa Bay Lightning won the Stanley Cup. Took out the Montreal Canadiens. Congratulations to Tampa Bay. We'll see you in the 2021-2022 season. Signed out, Flat Cap Whiskey. We got a shout out from John Oliver. I mean, <laughs> sorry. I don't mean that. John Andre. <laughs> from Just Whiskey. <laughs> Not the HBO show. <laughs> you just start over. <laughs> Shit. You don't go into the John Oliver stuff. <laughs> Until we're involved. You don't do shout outs until you get rolling. <laughs> Welcome.